it to move JPs to stand up and introduce yourself to the public? <coughs> I'm Jim Milam. Uh, just a piece number one. I'm Bobby Woods, uh, district number six. I'm Glenn Redding, district number two. And I'm Fred Wool, district number five. Thank you guys, appreciate that. Uh, I want to apologize to the new JPs and for not having your main plates. Uh, Lucretia's mother was sick throughout been past two weeks, and so we just dropped the ball on it and didn't get it. But we do apologize, and we'll be here next month. <coughs> right. <laughs> There's time, but I can turn mine over and run around. Okay. Uh, do I have a motion? Yeah, I'm sorry. Roll call. Jim Milam? Here. Glenn Reddy? Here. Dan Roberts? Present. Brian Stangley? Yes. Fred Wool? Here. Bobby Wool? Here. Robert Meek? Here. Jim Harp? Here. Ralph Quinn? Present. James Widener? Here. David Thompson? Here. Okay. Do I have an impo- a month back? Do I have I'm so a good. <laughs> okay, I can see this year starting out bad already. And, and, and <laughs> I will do that with the amending of the agenda with uh, Justice Redding's addendum, I believe. Would that be correct? Okay, well, do I have a motion to approve the minutes? Yeah, yeah okay. that's what I was moving. Okay. okay. All, All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed <laughs> by the same sign. Okay. Tom, will you get the trade report? Okay, the beginning balance as of December 1st, 2016 for County General was $2,030,655.49. Revenues for the month were $1,686,179.59. Disbursements for the month were $709,584.67. Resulting in a balance on December 31st, 2016 for County General with $3,007,250.41. Beginning balance as of December 1st, 2016 for County Roads was $1,209,479.78. Revenues for the month were $147,028.66. Disbursements for the month were $186,830.04, resulting in a balance on December 31, 2016, of $1,169,678.40. One quarter cent sales tax revenue for December was $116,109.57. The one percent county sales tax revenue for December for $264,355.90. General revenue turned back for December was $14,760.93. Highway revenue turned back for December was $86,205.17. And 1.5% state <coughs> highway tax for December was $43,427.59. Okay. There was no committee meetings uh, being the first year, but I did hand out, hand out the chosen people for the committees. Uh, did everybody get a copy of that? And it would be up to each committee to choose the chairman, vote for chairman. Okay. Uh, do we need so we need a vote to confirm? I haven't read the section one time, but I think the good point is subject to uh, confirmation. I move with confirmation. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed by the same sign. <coughs> okay, confirm. Yeah, I had looked at the law in my eyes. I'm sorry. You bet. You bet. I haven't heard to make that long. Okay, we have uh, announcements and presentations. Well, Judge, I have a, a question about this. Um, when do we meet, or how do we meet to act or do chair? Or I mean, Before the night's out, you guys need to choose a chair. Okay, and then they'll call the meeting. Yeah. So are we going to be able to separate? What? Now, we'll have to have a meeting in the context of a meeting to uh, elect officers, right? 
right. elected the chairman. Right. Okay, you'll have to call that meeting pretty quick to get it in by the end of this meeting. Yeah. So well, now, you know what, what I think may be that Tuesday before the next form court meeting, that was a lot of times kind of when we started having committee meetings, was that week before. And we might just all the committees meet on that Tuesday. I mean, I'm just making that as a suggestion. So you got to notify the press office. Yeah, yeah, for a committee meeting. So, uh, I mean, I don't think we can meet after this meeting because it's three hours notification, I think. Well, David, could we just not go ahead and make a motion tonight to meet on that Tuesday before the next one board meeting? Yeah. All the committees come together and yeah. just elect our office. I'll, I'll, I'll second that motion. Yeah. What time would that be? Uh, what time <coughs> had we had to... Started at 6, six half six, night. Was it 6 or 6.30? Six 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 we don't have to have a motion. We don't have to We don't have to have a motion to do that. We just uh, call, call it do by acclamation. Yeah. Well, I mean, if we go ahead and do it now and set yeah. time yeah. today, we can oh, just well, that'll that'll be that'll be the notice <coughs> for the press and everybody yes. uh, that the meetings would be then. Yeah, that'd yeah. be for the press, too. That'd be the first Tuesday in February. I don't know what date that is. Uh, you've got a calendar somewhere, don't you? I've got a calendar. February the 7th. Right. Uh, well, is there anything that we, we need to act on prior to so, that? No. That sounds like it's a month. That, well, it's, uh, it's three weeks. It's well, I guess short of a month. I'll make a motion that we meet uh, 6.30 p.m. on February the seventh. Another time to remember. <laughs> well, you got a pencil. Write it down. <laughs> six thirty. Six thirty at uh, on Tuesday, the February the seventh, and the full board members come together, and we will just have our respective <coughs> meetings at that time. Where? Just to elect our chairman here, courthouse, or here, 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 here. 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 Okay. Yeah, I think we started to have them here you know, because of the handicap accessibility and stuff like that. I'll second that. Well, that, like I said, that takes care of the announcement yes, of right. the meeting. <laughs> and if something other should happen to come up, you know, earth shattering in between now and then, why we would have the three hours, certainly. But we don't have to do this in a motion. Because all we're doing is just going to let chairman anyway. That's, right. that's all we're doing for yeah. you. Right. Did you say that was PM? That could be PM. If you want to come at AM, I guess that's fine. <laughs> the finance may have some other business besides just electing the chairman. So yeah, right. Uh, well, they all might. I think uh, roads and bridges and all of them may have some uh, revenues and law enforcement. But anyway, okay. Is that settled in? No. No. Justice Wolf, is it settled? You have yeah, the original I'm question. Fine. Okay. I'm going to find the problem. <laughs> okay, now, announcements and presentations. Uh, the appointment of Miss Lanes Ragsdale to replace Kurt Goodall on the airport board. Mr. Goodall has <coughs> resigned, and Miss Ragsdale will finish his term, which is 18 months. Ms. Ragsdale, would you like to say something? Um, I'd just like, I'd be honored to serve again. I had the opportunity to serve several years back, and I believe that the airport's a real key to our economic development here in this area, and I'm excited about the opportunity to get to be back on the board again. It's a great board, and I appreciate working with Judy a lot. I move we accept. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed by the same sign. Thank you, Ms. Ragsdale. <coughs> okay. Uh, to uh, also uh, to add Kathy Ballantyne to the library board to uh, fill George Holton's spot. Is that right, Craig? Donna Smith, I believe. Donna Smith, I apologize. Yeah. Okay. Kathy, would you like to say something? Yes. I'm excited and honored to serve. Um, uh, the library is very vital for all ages in uh, Boone County, and whether it's print or media. Um, you know, electronic, I think it's very vital uh, to the community, and I'm excited and I'm passionate about the library, and I'm excited <coughs> to serve. Thank you. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed by the same sign. I second it. Okay. Sounds good. 
Thank you, Kathy. Uh, also, we have uh, an appointment of George Holcomb to replace Fred Wool on the uh, hospital board. George, you got anything to say, sir? I haven't been here for a while. It's yeah. nice to see you all. Uh, it's nice to see you. The old place is still laboring in this vineyard, and uh, the new ones look like a bunch of rogues. But, uh, <laughs> and had I known Ron Kincaid was still coming to these, I would have uh, been here more often. You realize half these people we brought out of retirement. <laughs> like you, George. Yeah. Just like you. Uh, I'd move right. to William Brady. And I second that. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed by the same sign. Okay, George, I appreciate you coming. I'm sorry I could tell you that. I'm jumping around from the library board to this, but we'll, I think he really fills the position well. So thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Now. Just in ready. Uh, do I need to do a motion on this? I thought when he, he and, and, and then approved the agenda and included that in okay. there. Okay. So, uh, Justice Redding can just explain what this is about. And then we'll go from there. He said it's your turn. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my hearing aid on the left side. <laughs> Judge Hathaway had asked me to look at the, the local mm -hmm. Boone County alcohol beverage control and find out if the taxes are being paid and, and if the permits are being issued and, and, and what's going on with it. So in, in doing that, what I found was that there was a board at one time. There was a member that had passed away on that board. There was other members that got sick or had surgeries, and, and the board just kind of fizzled away. In doing that, the... Uh, the notices weren't sent out to a lot of the businesses that are in the county to obtain the permits, which is required by our county ordinance, that they have a, a permit to operate an alcohol establishment in the county as long as it's not in a city incorporated area. So I tried to run that down the best I could. I got with alcohol beverage control with the state, and they sent me a list of every place that has a permit in the county, including the places in the city. Then I went down to the clerk's office, and I pulled what we did have, and uh, of course, it was outdated, and basically people hadn't gone ahead and, and sent in and got the permits because they weren't sent notices. So it's basically all <coughs> that they didn't get the permits. So what I did is I, I tried to put together a list, and I came up with 16 businesses located in unincorporated areas in Boone County that do not have liquor permits. But I said, excuse me, that should have liquor permits. Twelve of those do not. Four of them do. Those four automatically come in and get the permit every year, just like they're supposed to do without being notified. The others did not. I don't think it was an intent or a criminal thing. I think they just failed to do it because the notices weren't sent. Without a board, they're not going to be. So we tried to recruit some people, and I went ahead today and got a copy of the, uh, from the ABC, a copy of what their permit fees are, because our board operates on the permit fees that the state does. It's half of what the state fee is for those permits is what they can pay for a county permit. So I checked on that. I also checked with the ABC, the state board, to see if they would assist us if we needed any, any help with any of that. And they agreed that they would go ahead and assist us with anything we needed. Uh, I checked with the Boone County Sheriff, and I asked him once the board got online if we had any difficulties with enforcing any of the, the ordinances, if they would help us with that. And the sheriff said, if the judge and prosecutor will hear it, I'll enforce it. So I think we're in pretty good shape. All we really need was an alcohol beverage control board to be active. In preparing this list and giving them the ABC list, the 16 locations, I put on there, and this is for them, for the new ABC board if the judge appoints one, that each business on that list, it needs to be verified that they are not in an incorporated city, that they are located in rural Boone County, and that each business needs to be verified of an existing Boone County ABC permit and current status of the taxes paid. And I think that should be the first source of the, of the ABC board. I didn't feel it was my position to do that. I felt like that's what our board is designed for, the alcohol board, and that that's what it should be doing. So that's where we're at tonight is, is to see if the judge can't get that board up and running to, to get things following the ordinances and the laws that have been passed. Uh, Justice Ray, would you please introduce the members 
of the committee that we'd like to have that we'd like to have sitting on the committee. Yeah. I had recommended, I had asked for volunteers and I had looked out to try to find some. And what I ended up with is I had three local men that came forward that said that they would be willing to go ahead and serve on that board and try to do something with it. And they are Troy Burveson of Lead Hill. Troy? Yes. The other one was Mike Solzing of Belfont. Mike has offered to step forward. And the third one is Rick Snow out of the Alpena area. And all three men have said that they would like a, a chance on that board to try to put it together and keep up with the permits and, and uh, uh, make sure things are operating legally and in the right way. Okay. Sounds great. Sounds great. Sure. Appreciate you guys. Uh, this somehow feels important for the community and the county. Uh, I thought our constituents expected us to do this when, you know, our call was passed here in the county. I think it's just part of our job to see if we do that, and I appreciate you guys volunteering to do this for us. Uh, we will set it. Okay. Looks like I need to vote on the confirmation. I move that we confirm them provided they understand they don't get a cut. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. I'm sorry, I told you. Now, I'm not sure what we're confirming here. <laughs> All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed by the same sign. Now, now, Judge, I have a question about this. Is there any way that we could have Justice Redding kind of set in to help him get going? He's done a lot of, of work of doing all this. And I think having him in, 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 involved in some manner legally I'm not legally allowed to as a, as a JP to sit on as a member of the board but that doesn't mean that I can't attend as a citizen and, or as a concerned JP to observe what they're doing and, and, and I am available to help guide them to the ABC and my contacts that I have in order for them to, to get, get situated so yeah I volunteered to help them already I told them I'd be available if they were appointed yeah. Mr. Burris if you would like to set up a committee meeting and you guys can choose the sitting uh, chair. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I'd sure yes, like to attend it. It's an honor to serve the court again. Well, we sure appreciate you. It's what we need. That's what said. Uh, Penny Goodman in my office is going to be the one assisting y'all. Okay. And y'all are more than welcome to use the facilities over there when y'all want to meet. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah. Thank so you. whenever y'all decide on a meeting, she can send out the notices and stuff. Okay. Yeah, she needs to be appraised of, of what the board's doing so that she can keep up with, with the permits and what you guys are doing. I'll call okay. Thank you. Judge, I'd also like to commend Justice Ray. You've done an outstanding job in this area. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Quite an interest to this area. Okay. <laughs> I've been 14 years with tobacco control. I didn't have any science. Ken Coon, he resides in Mountain View in Stone County. Uh, he was in the military and went overseas. He's got a long history with the ABC. I know him personally, and I, I contacted him, and, and he said that any, any problems we have, to, to please give us a call, and he, he'd be right over here to help our board or to, or to help us. And these funds are elected. Do we know where they've been going? County General. County General. General. Okay. It's somewhere in the ballpark of eight thousand dollars a year. If everybody pays. That's good. Be more than that if everybody pays. Eight about eight thousand is what we're collecting now. No, it's only four permits. And that's right. Well, the only four of them got licenses. There are more than that that are actually paying their half cent sales tax, well, okay. but they don't have a license. So. Okay. That's all I have. Okay. Is there any questions? They've all been answered. Okay, are we prepared to move forward on the election of uh, by the Boone County Corn Court of the AAC representative? Uh, <coughs> sir, I would like to nominate uh, Dave Thompson. He's been doing it for the last couple of years. He's done a good job, and he's ended up being president of the JPs in the state. And besides that, we can get him out of town a couple of days now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll say that. <laughs> Okay, I've got the first and second. Any other? Okay. 
All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed by the same sign. Congratulations, David. Appreciate it. Would you like to say anything? I hope you talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I guess not. <laughs> he said no, that would be a first. <laughs> Okay. Thanks, David. Appreciate it. I would like to say about this, though, that when uh, uh, Justice Redding and Wood and I went down to the, the meeting, David was very uh, good at making sure that we got what we really had to have. It, being a JP is interesting. There's a whole lot more to it than what anybody thinks. And uh, that training that, that, that we went through was real good. And uh, David did a real good job. So, I would like to comment that just because I'm the representative, anybody that wants to can go to these meetings. I mean, it's not it's not like closed meetings or anything. It's just the representative is like a 75, one of 75, and you can vote on anything that comes up. But anybody is welcome. Anybody that wants to is uh, JPs are welcome to come to these meetings for the information of what. And being a good steward of the county, that's not paid for by the county. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's move on to new business then. Uh, first, emergency procedure ordinance and ordinance establishing the organization, management, and social procedure for the affairs of the Boone County Forum Court. Uh, it's submitted by David Thompson. I would uh, make a motion that we read this by title only. Uh, it's it's fairly involved. If anybody has any questions along the way, but I just move that we read it by title only. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed by the same sign. Okay. I'm looking for it. It's number one. Yeah. <laughs> it's a long way down here to number one. Uh, Ah, there it is. Okay. Uh, being enacted by the Quorum Court of the County of Boone, State of Arkansas, an ordinance to be entitled, an ordinance establishing the organization, management, and rules of procedure for the affairs of the Boone County Quorum Court to declare an emergency and for other purposes. Now, therefore, be it ordained by the Quorum Court of the County of Boone, State of Arkansas. And I would move for adoption of this. <coughs> Okay. Did that one, is there emergency clause on it? I didn't read it. Yes. It's, it's, you know, all yeah. that separate thing is what we're going to do. I'm just going to include it in the movie. Well, you can include it, and it takes a three a super majority. Yeah. yeah. Four We could do them separate, but I don't know whether it's I just gaining. <coughs> I don't think it matters. <coughs> Okay. Anybody well, has the reason, the reason I don't think it matters is the law says y'all shall do that tonight. Yeah. Right. If anybody has any questions about anything on this, why feel free to ask. But uh, I have a question. Yes. Are there any changes from last year? Uh, no. I don't think so. There is. Okay, what was it? It's just, uh, was it that section? That yeah. paragraph. Yeah. Well, but that was a separate ordinance previously. Okay. So okay. we, it was uh, section, which one? Section five. Yeah. Section five. The second paragraph. Last, second last paragraph in section five. Now this, uh, the second paragraph in section five had previously been in a separate ordinance. Dan, you may remember, uh, <coughs> but we couldn't find that ordinance. And we knew it existed, so we just included it in here as the procedure for this. And this ordinance was passed last one quarter meeting, too, correct? Yeah, on the budget. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, budget. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And, uh, I mean, this just sets forth, I mean, the budget was passed, but this particular terminology, I don't know whether what was in the budget. It explains it. Yeah, that's what yeah. That's right. That's, that's what that anything to add on that comment? No, it's just now it's actually got the pay of the quote unquote members in your procedural ordinance. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think that's a. Like I said, it was on uh, another ordinance. I had it about three or four years ago, but I couldn't find it. So we just included it in this one. I think it's not included. Yeah. Okay. okay. I got first and second to do a voice vote. One is it a procedural ordinance that don't publish it? I think need to do it. Roll call. Yeah, that's right. Roll call. Roll call. Are we ready? Jim Milam. Yes. Glenn Redding. Yes. Dan Roberts. Yes. Brian Stangley. Yes. Fred Wool. Yes. Bobby Woods. Yes. Robert Meek. Yes. Jim Park. Yes. Ralph Gwynn. Yes. James Weicker. Yes. David Thompson. Yes. Okay. That passes. Number two, we got a resolution. A resolution allowing for the Boone County Judge to request an immediate traffic study survey by the Arkansas Highway Commission for the Junction State Highway 62, 412, and 65, submitted by Justice Wool. What this is, is there's been several accidents in this area in the last. Uh, we got to make a motion to read it first, even on a resolution, or do we? Yeah. So you would make a motion. That we read, it. and I'll say it. Okay. Then, then yeah, I, I know it's redundant, then can, but then I can tell them what it's yes. about. Okay. I'm making I'm making a motion. We read it. I would second that. Are we reading this by title only? Or? Oh, 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 oh. You read it. You want the resolution? I, I probably ought to read the whole thing. I would yeah. think just because it's not that long and everything. I've got a first and second. We need to do a roll call vote. Roll call vote. Roll call vote. On on whether to read it. I wanted to read it, wanted to read it right. All in favor say aye. All opposed by the same sign. Okay. Read. So now I read it. Now you read. Okay. <clears throat> be it resolved by the Quorum Court of Boone County, State of Arkansas, a resolution to be entitled. A resolution for the Boone County Judge to request an immediate traffic study survey to be completed by the Arkansas Highway Commission at the junction of Arkansas State Highway 62, 412, and 65. Whereas Boone County and the Arkansas State Highway <coughs> and Transportation Department have identified a need to determine and develop solutions to the dangerous uh, dangerous situation at the junction of Arkansas State Highway 62, 412, and 65 south of Belfont, Arkansas, and whereas there have been several serious accidents at this junction due to the, the traffic and the layout of the, the the layout of the junction with some of these accidents resulting in uh, the, uh, fatalities. Now, therefore, be resolved by the Quorum Court of Boone County, Arkansas, that Section 1, the Quorum Court allows the Boone County Judge to request an immediate study survey at the, at the junction of Arkansas State Highway 62, 412, and 65. Section 2, the County Judge is designated representative is hereby authorized and directed to execute all appropriate agreements and contracts necessary to expedite the study of this dangerous junction. Section 3, the county pledges its full support and hereby request that the Arkansas State Highway and Transportation Department initiate action to implement this project. Okay. Now then, you make a motion to adopt. I move we adopt this resolution. Okay. Any discussion? Well, one of the things that the reason that brought this up in the last five months has been two deaths there. And uh, those of us that travel that on a regular basis, there is some problems there. And I don't know what the answer is, but the first first step we have to do is this this uh, survey, and it's to no cost to the the county. It don't cost the county anything to do this, and this is the first step. They put them deals out traffic counters on that kind of thing. Right. Yeah. They'll do a a a, 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 a survey, <clears throat> and then they'll make some recommendations. Well, we need a round of that there. No. 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 Yes. Dan Roberts? Yes. Brian Stavely? Yes. Fred Wool? Yes. Bobby Woods? Yes. Robert Meek? Yes. Jim Hart? Yes. Ralph Quinn? Yes. James Widener? Yes. David Thompson? Yes. Jim Martin? Yes. 
Okay. Do the study. Okay, our third is an ordinance, an ordinance of place, Cottonwood's Rural Fire Department duties on the appropriate district's property tax statement, submitted by Justice Wool and Bobby Woods. I would move that we read this in its entirety. I second that. All those in no favor way. say aye. 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 All opposed by the same sign. Okay, Justice Woods. Thank you. Whereas Cottonwood Rural Fire Association has made a request to the quorum court to place the fire department dues on the property tax statements as authorized by ACA 142108. Whereas Cottonwood Fire Rural Fire Association submitted with their request a petition filed with the county clerk and signed by registered voters in the volunteer fire department district as authorized by ACA 142108 as amended by Act 693 of 2015. Whereas the county clerk has determined that the number of signatures of registered voters in the subject fire district on the petition are sufficient. Whereas the quorum court shall adopt the ordinance attached to the petition submitted by the registered voters by ACA 142108 as amended by Act 693 of 2015. Excuse me, 2015. Now therefore it is hereby ordained and adopted that as provided by ACA 142108 as amended by Act 693 of 2015, the collector shall place the fire dues of Cottonwood Rural Fire Association on the property tax statements. A true and correct copy of this ordinance shall be published as required by law in effect for 30 days following publication. I move to adopt. Second. Any discussion? Yes. <coughs> In our phone call after the last month's meeting on the other ordinance that we passed with the fire association, the story that I was told by this individual, he owns property, as many folks do, I guess, in the county in different fire districts. But this particular case, I was told that um, one parcel of property, there's one acre attached to that parcel that extends into another fire district. And he does not believe that he ought to be paying $35 to one fire district and $35 again to the other fire district when this parcel of land is connected. It just happens to go into the boundary of another fire district. And his concern was, his story was a few years ago there was a fire. And he didn't have insurance on that one acre or had not paid those dues on that particular acre in that fire district and was fined, I think, about $250 for not having that. Tommy, my question to you is, is it something that the fire chiefs locally can get together to prevent or at least to help those individuals that has property that adjoins or that runs over to another fire district when there's no structure or anything on it? Actually, the state that's, the state law says that that's the way it is yes, now, but also the state law says quorum court is the one that sets those boundaries. Okay. So, I mean, if you want to get with those fire departments and you work out where that boundary is scooted over that one acre, that's up to the quorum court to do. Well, I mean, can we do like just a, a blanket ordinance to protect, I guess, different landowners in the county that may have five or ten acres or one acre or whatever? You'll have to set a boundary. You no, know, you'll have to go have to set a line. That's, I mean, that's, you know, it's, you got to set a line somewhere. And, Maybe <laughs> there's way more. Is there any? There's, but but see, here's here's the whole thing. Pay that thirty five dollars, save you two hundred fifty. <coughs> I understand that, but the, the his question was that he didn't think it was fair, and I guess I can understand that. I mean, not we're fair. not talking about you know one parcel land in this fire district and a totally separate parcel in another district. We're talking we, about we land have, that goes. We have home. people that actually have their house. Is in one fire district and their farms in the other, but that's just the way the boundary mm -hmm. lines run. And it's voluntary. And it, I mean, you know, the thing is, is when you set up the lines, what do you use? Do you go by highways? Do you go by mm -hmm. section lines? When the quorum court set these up originally, they went by section lines, <coughs> and that's just the way it well, has to be set up. I mean, it can't be by property boundaries because yeah. those change. Yep. Uh, yeah, section lines don't change. If you know, I understand what you're saying. It's just one acre sticking over there, mm -hmm. but there's the contiguous nature of it that he's claiming. But okay, if it's contiguous to another 500 acres, 
in that other district. You're going to have to decide at what level contiguous makes a difference. Like one acre, that sounds kind of logical, you know, like, well, you know, shouldn't have to maybe, but if he had 100 acres over there, maybe he should. So we would have to set a level. Well, see, that's something we wouldn't know from all the property, different property owners in the county. Yeah. He just brought this and half that million yeah. last month. And, I, of course, I told him I didn't know what the solution would be at all. I said I just would ask to see. You would have to set new boundaries, you know, for wherever that fire district's at. You just have to set new boundaries. That could change constantly. Yep. Tommy, is there any uh, discretion that the fire chief has prior to uh, submitting a charge to someone? Fire chief? Well, actually, not the fire chief, but the fire board. Can do, we've done it more than once. Go to people and say, look. You know, you've not paid your dues. Do you want to give me $35 right now and pay your dues, or do you want me to send you a bill? Calculate this out and send you a bill. Most of the time, we get a $35. Well, Glenn, uh, you all are limited in what you can do. Mm -hmm. You really can't waive it, you can't change the law. Well, I, I didn't. I, I felt that the court court shouldn't be setting into this as far as making some sort of ordinance or law. I was and, and actually, that be up to the fire chiefs to actually to under the, this law yes. that set this up, it says right in it that that fire district can exempt anyone they wish to exempt. So, so maybe his guy could get an exemption from that from fire, that fire so district. That could have went and talked to him maybe and got that. <laughs> Exempt. Well, I'm that's, what I yes, no. that's what I need to tell them to come and talk to the fire chiefs of that district. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. okay. That's what We're I. We're fire board. Fire, fire, fire board. I'm sorry. Fire, fire board. board. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on. Uh, need a roll call vote. Yep. Dan Ross. Yes. Brian Stanley. Yes. Fred Wolf. Yes. Bobby Woods. Yes. Robert Mead. Yes. Jim Mark. Yes. Ralph Wynn. Yes. James Widener. Yes. David Thompson. Yes. Jim Milo. Yes. Glenn Randy. Yes. Okay. That passes. Fourth, we have an appropriate. Well, hold on. I, I we think. need to uh, submit that again for second and third readings. Okay. Move to suspend the rules and submit to second and third readings. I yeah. second that. Well, we didn't have to do roll call. No. Yeah, yeah. Well, <coughs> we wouldn't even really have to vote on the first reading. Right. Really. Yeah. 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 My question is this is yeah. this yeah. appropriation yeah. ordinance and it's not it's not the fire department. Just sitting in the appropriation. Go ahead and do it in three readings, it's safe. <laughs> All right. Move move to suspend the rules, put it on second reading. I move that we suspend the rules and put it on second reading. I've got Bobby Woods in that. Oh, okay. I'll second it then. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed by the same sign. I, I move that we do it by title only. Second. What's the title? I'm going to do that. Is there a part of the original? There's my title. Okay, are we ready? Um, title only. Whereas Cottonwood Real Fire Association has made request to the Corn Court to place the fire department dues on the property tax statements as authorized by ACA 14 20 108. I move to approve. Do I second? Third reading. Third reading. First. Suspend the rules. On third reading. Title only. I move to suspend the rules and place this on a third reading by title only. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed by the same sign. Okay. Whereas Cottonwood Rural Fire Association has made request to the Corn Court to place the fire department dues on the property tax statements as authorized by ACA 14 20 108. Motion for adoption. Motion for adoption. I move to adopt. I second. Any questions? Discussion? Okay. Roll call vote. Dan Roberts? Yes. Brian Snavely? Yes. Fred Wool? Yes. Bobby Woods? Yes. Robert Meek? Yes. Jim Hart? Yes. Ralph Wynn? Yes. James Widener? Yes. David Thompson? Yes. Jim My Jim Milam? Yes. Glenn Reddy? Yes. And we're starting. Now.
Oh, this comes from a different time. Yeah. <laughs> this is story preservation. I'm Actually, that it. cycle's open again, so if you got something else you want to do at the courthouse, you can. Can you, can you provide something to the, the court at, at some point that tells us what grants may be available that would benefit Boone County that we could, so we would be aware of? All I need is a project and how much it costs, and then I start looking for the money. Okay, that's how it works. Mm -hmm. right. Thank you. Judge Jim has already talked about replacing, getting sidewalks repaired or replacing around the corner. You also right. mentioned elevator, but that's, that's what you're kind of <laughs> up right now. You get six figures, it's a little harder to find the money. Yeah. <laughs> A slingshot. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we want a historic elevator. Over the question. Okay. First and second. Brian Stanley. Yes. Fred Wool. Yes. Bobby Woods. Yes. Robert Meade. Yes. Jim Hart. Yes. Ralph Quinn. Yes. James Widener. Yes. David Thompson. Yes. Jim Milo. Here. Glenn Reddy. Yes. Dan Roberts. Yes. Okay. Passed. Number five, appropriation ordinance and ordinance to appropriate funds into the Boone <coughs> County Airport budget submitted by Justice James Widener. <coughs> I move the great bills. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, you see if I tie along the bill and Yeah, be, be it enacted by the Corner Court of County of Boone, the state of Arkansas, an ordinance being titled an ordinance uh, amending the annual budget for Boone County for the fiscal year 2016 and authorizing the county judge to administer such budget for other purposes. <coughs> now, therefore, be it ordained by the Corner Court of uh, Boone County of Arkansas. This is a. A credit card charged on the airport's credit card, and it was uh, charged to the wrong year. And this is basically straighten that up. And it's ninety four dollars and twenty four cents. Okay. You've got a motion to adopt. I move to adopt. Second. Any discussion? Okay. Roll call. Fred Wolf. Yes. Bobby Woods. Yes. Robert Meek. Yes. Jim Hart. Yes. Ralph Gwynn. Yes. James Widener. Yes. David Thompson. Yes. Jim Milam. Yes. Glenn Redding. Yes. Dan Roberts. Yes. Brian Stanley. Yeah. Yes. Okay, that passes. Uh, any comments from the public? <laughs> I have that. Uh, I have got, I bear gifts. I have got some calendars over there on the podium, and anybody that would like one is welcome. There's a desktop calendar, there's a stick-up calendar, and then there's a, uh, a grazing land calendar, and and the, the little lady on the June picture is my granddaughter. So we need to charge a little bit for that one. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome to any of them. This program is brought to you as a public service of KTKO Channel.